Hi all, this is a tutorial for the 50, 30, 15, and 5% budget planner, which means each of those values correspond to our needs, wants, savings, and debt. This is a dynamic model which features extra models within it. So we'll go in in every we'll cover every single detail to make sure you understand how it works and how easy it is to set up the model. So we start with our settings stop where you can select your year. Uh, then you just choose and select your currency initial balance which corresponds to the current savings in respect to what you have right now so you can type any amount that you wish five thousand dollars if or in this case uh, because we are referring to the dollars then we do have a specific obviously um, percentage attributed to each of the kind of financial drivers financial key performance indicators in respect to our needs, wants, savings, and debt. So when I say this is a dynamic model, you can change them as long as the, the percentage here meets 100%. So you can adjust to your financial situation. About, uh, we are recommending to start with 50, 30, 15, and 5%. So to start with, it's very easy to, to start. Just tell, my, tell the model in, in respect to your to your income categories, this type my job, then you know that maybe you're expecting $5,000 of each month on fourth of each month. In terms of your needs, you may be potentially having a mortgage uh, right now, which is, let's say it's a, a $2,000 on seventh of each month. Your wants, maybe you'll go to the to, to the shopping big time once per month. Um, and then you have another 300 on a, let's say on 20th of each month, then you have savings, which are building emergency fund, emergency fund, uh, in the, and this is in respect, let's put another 300 here on 26th of each month, and then you also have maybe a student loan or any other credit card loan that you have, and then let's say the budget of a hundred, uh, dollars per month which go from your bank account let's say on 24th of each month so as you can see it's very easy to set up we we'll give you a number of categories so we have it give you enough to cover it for each category so just select the type the name of the category the amount expected and the date for each category now we're going to be moving to the most important part of this uh, model this is a transaction tracker which is again automated dynamic transaction tracker let's suppose we have first of january 2023 5000 as we expected let's select our income you can see dynamic drop down menu the best part of that when you select the category it will automatically attribute you can we will be able to select some in respect to your job let's say 15th of january uh, 2023 we have 2000 uh in respect let's go to your needs and again sorry given that uh, we we know that this these are hypothetical dates and these this will be matching according to the to what you have set up in the in in the most likely they will be matching what you have done the setup that you have done in the settings sub but nevertheless uh, let's go and, and check this out how it works so you can see it's very easy dynamic uh, very fast which is something that always wanted to for to make sure that these models are easy to set up the onboarding is extremely easy and fast uh, so, so we can start immediately with our obviously tracking our finance um so now i'm just giving a single detail for each one of them on, on in respect to what we have and let's say so let's move on to the january because obviously we want to see we, we enter the information in respect to the january so now you can see beautiful dashboards which are automatically uh these are automated dashboards where you don't have to change anything at all and this is the beauty of this model because this model covers and gives you all the relevant information that you need and the best part right now is obviously you have dashboard for each of your key financial indicators you have the compare cash flow comparison in respect to your goals expected the actuals income distribution 
complete budget overview, how much of the budget you have left, the actual distribution of your budget. So for now, we know that needs are accounting 74%. And as you can see, everything that we've entered in the transaction tracker is automatically filtered and entered in the respective column and in, res in respect to the specific key financial indicator in respect to the income, our needs, want, debt, and savings. So that's how it works. We do have also the top 15 category. So essentially the key take from here, this is this, these are the dashboards which will tell you everything about the budget as long as transaction tracker is recorded. Everything is recorded in the transaction tracker, including the date. Now we do have also, so, and, and the other thing which is extremely important to realize that this is everything is automated for you. There are only two things which you need to, you can have a manual input into this. And number one, this is the rollover function, which is just the tick box, which means that whatever is left on the balance by the end of the month, it will be transferred to the following month. So you will start, let's say the February, you will start not from zero, but from, um, based on the actuals from $2,300 if we tick this box here. And once you know that the salary, let's say you have have received your salary and you just need, if you want, you can just click it and that's it. Just make sure that the box is there and everything is matching your expectations. Um, in addition to this, we obviously, we do have a smart calendar, which again, once we enter the information it will tell you exactly as you can see another type of visualization in respect once because it takes the date and it will visualize and, and put them in the correct um obviously in, in, into the correct date and in respect to the days as well for the model so this is a great model um but again with different visualization techniques and something that obviously we do have also a annual report, which was a big summary of everything, uh, all the relevant uh, financial indicators for each specific category. And then obviously the, the, the big annual dashboard, which is again, everything is automated, so you don't have to do anything. So that's how it actually is being populated for you. And that's how it's actually being run right now. So thank you very much. And now we're going to be moving to our second part of this um, overview of this model to the savings and sinking fund. So we're now in the savings and sinking fund model. We'll do this very quickly. And so it's easy to understand. You have savings goals, which we have actually defined as emergency fund. So this is a completely separate model, so you can run uh, pretty much uh, as many as many savings and sinking funds as you need, actually. And the reason is it gives you a very good forecast of what you need to achieve and how much. So essentially, as an emergency fund, you type emergency fund, select the date, and then the key part is then you need to have a goal. This is a 50,000. Now, as you will see right now, once we set up the goal, automatically we have the dashboard starting to be populated. The starting part is the starting amount, how much you have saved already. If you're not starting from zero, let's say you're starting from a thousand, or let's say five thousand dollars, this is what you input here. Once again, it will already tell you how much you saved versus how much you left to save. And the next big thing is that you need to make sure that you start recording the transactions, your contr monthly contributions. So let's say first of January 2023, you've You've contributed, let's say, 300, right? So you will see here automatically that we have an average. We have been populated monthly average total, how much left to save, and the month to go. If you want, as, as we move on, let's say we second of February 2023, again, emergency fund, right? And let's say we add in 500 this time. So it will tell you that on average of two month we have populated four hundred dollars, which means that actually on the basis we continue contributing four hundred dollars, we are actually gonna be reducing our time to achieve the savings goal. And this is how it works. So now moving on to our net worth dashboard. This is a very intuitive and smart dashboard. So what it does, it actually matches your current month. With the model with the amount which is recorded in the model to the corresponding month of the model 
So it's always takes into consideration the current month with, that we are actually living in. So essentially what we need to do is then set up our net worth goal. Let's say it's, it's actually, let's say 50,000. No, let's, let's, let's keep it actually at 100,000, right? So let's put cash uh, as we give you an option and we give you options to compare assets versus liabilities. Cash category with a bank. And then this is where we're going to be starting right now. So let's say in January we have 5,000. In February, our cash increased by 1,000. In March, by 2,000. April, we made the same, then 10,000. Again, 10,000. So what we are doing, actually, we are recording the change in our cash position over the, over the specific month of the year. And what it does is that what will happen right now, just going to tell so let's say we uh, dropped and and then once we actually record the current uh, actually the current month of where we are because the video is recorded in November, so we if, if I'll record fourteen thousand, look at this, what will happen? automatically our net worth matches with the month that we are currently living in and this is why it's smart modeling what it makes you it makes you to record the change of your assets and liabilities on a monthly basis so you do not forget number one and second of all you don't need to change every other second every other day every other week you need to change just once per month to record this change so when it comes December, you will need to enter the December here and the model will update automatically. And the same principle applies to the investments, other assets, short term and long term and other liabilities. Please remember, define, categorize and add the change in the respective month. Just don't go beyond. Just keep it to the point where the current month, as I said, matches. Current net worth will match the current month that we are living in. So that's why this is a dynamic and smart model. So now let's move on to the debt management dashboard. And now finally we are moving towards our last part of the model, which is the debt management plan. And this is again quite an important part of the model. I've given you some data already, but it's very easy to do and to change. So set up your currency first. Again, uh, do the date the month and then to start with enter the debt information let's change to from student loan to debt number one with a balance let's say five thousand and the apr 5.5 percent now these are the critical parts one balance uh, apr annual interest and the name then the model will automatically give you the minimum payment for this particular debt and then the re there are also optional columns such as custom credit or a note i think credit or a notes are self-explanatory however the custom is very important to mention so give you the option of manually trying to clear the debt in the best most efficient way however we'll see right now that in most cases it is not the case and we have a number of different strategies to clear the debt in the more efficient way very importantly you have that once you enter the information name balance annual interest you'll have the total minimum payment to repay and at the same time you also have a specific budget that you want to allocate for the repayment of the debt it was always must be higher than the total minimum payment once you do this, maybe actually let's change this. Maybe our budget is one hundred and fifty dollars per month. So essentially, once we change this, we will now start to choose our strategy. So let's choose Snowball for instance to see if there is any impact. Now, as you will see, how much will date will change by about two years, and there will be significantly more interest. Let's move back to the avalanche. So 14,500 to 11,000. This is a significant amount of interest we could decrease by using the avalanche strategy. And that's why this model is extremely powerful. It'll tell you the best way to clear your debt. Then you'll have the repayment plan. And this is again just to show you how and when, pay of date, how many months ago, depending on each debt and what that the depth number two will be cleared first then we go to the depth number three and depth number one is the last one so the last thing 
to add here, we do have a completely uh, giving you the details of all the calculations that we have performed. And if for any reason, if in July, let's say 2023, you have a specific hundred dollars extra that you want to add to the debt clearance you can add here you will see that it will automatically add to the debt number to you and it will speed up the process of debt prepayment so essentially just make sure to start with debt number one so in essence the name the balance interest then make sure that your total repayment amount is higher than the total minimum and then choose your strategy and this is it. Thank you very much.